Hello and welcome to my own top 10 list of 2023 before we start tucking into the brand new 2024 sets. Now rules of engagement is simple. It has to have been built and added into the display at some point of 2023 before it got smashed. So not necessarily everything on this list would have come out in 2023 to make it a little bit different to a lot of other people's top 10s and... Some of the sets might surprise you because I've got some smaller sets higher up because what I've tried to do is take into consideration at some point build quality, brick count, price and those all important minifigures as well. So some of these are going to be very, very surprising to you. But guys, this is my top 10 builds of 2023. <laughs> So the easiest way for me to do this is just basically taking you off the stand, showing you around the room rather than bringing the sets to the table and then going online to have a look at the minifigures because there are so many minifigures to have a look at. Now don't forget, these are my own personal top 10 favourite builds, but also taking into consideration the price point, the end result of the minifigures, because I know minifigures are very, very important and it's not just the quantity, it is the quality. So some of these are going to surprise you with the order I put you in. And I guarantee you this first one, which is coming in at number 10, a lot of you are going to be surprised about. And as we get through the list, I think it's going to shock you as well. So number 10 is the Avengers Tower. Yes, that is only made at number 10 for the fact it looks so good on display. But apart from that, it doesn't tick the rest of the boxes. Now, obviously, it's got to be repetitive because it is that kind of building. They cannot deny the fact that that should not be in there at the top. And it's not good enough for how much this thing costs. And also, it's very, very difficult to get your hands in certain places for the minifigures. Now, talking of minifigures, yes, OK, you get loads and loads of them. However, most of them are available in a completely different set. So it's not the most enjoyable thing to put together. But then at the same time, it looks outstanding on display. These are the minifigures in question. Now, some of them are exclusive, some of them are generic. You can get these in a lot of the other sets, but obviously you've got all three different Tonys. So you've got Tony, 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 and there is a fourth Tony as well. Two caps, identical. Thor has been about in other bits and pieces. Black Widow has different exclusive leg print. Then you've got Ant-Man and the Wasp at the top right-hand corner. You've got a Chunky Hulk, but no Bruce Banner. That is another thing that I didn't like about this set. There are many figures that should have been included that they didn't add, and they added ones in that shouldn't have been included. You've got the Doc, Nick Fury, Wong, for no reason whatsoever. You've got Pepper Potts. You have got War Machine, who does look very, very good. Vision, again, looks fantastic as well. Falcon with his exclusive wings, but aren't photoed. But the, that exclusiveness is actually stickers. Then you've got Wanda, who's available in lots of other different sets. Then again, you've got the other Doctor down in the bottom left. You have got two of the three agents. The one beside the Doc is Tony. Coming over, you have then got another agent. Then you have got the army builders, and then we get to the two very, very good minifigures, which are Loki, who does look fantastic, but Ultron is also very, very good. So Ultron, to me, is definitely the set of the minifigure, but even though Ultron is probably the minifigure of the year, it cannot get the set off from number 10 on the list. So moving on from the Avengers Tower on to number nine. Now this is going to be a surprise and it surprised me as well because I picked it up in a sale and it is this thing. Now price for size, this thing is very, very good. And it does come with some very good looking minifigures as well. You can see just how big this ship is and it will look very impressive parked around the tower when I get close to doing it. So moving on to the stock images, you can see it's set number 76193, 14 plus. It's the Guardian ship and it has 1,901 pieces. Now, the scale of the ship is amazing. And don't forget, you can open up the guts of it and place in these minifigures. Rocket looks nice. Couldn't care about this one. Then you've got Groot. Then you've got Mantis, Thor. And then you've got another one that you can use with the Avengers Tower. So the minifigure selection work with the ship. Because obviously, it is the figures that were at the middle or after, shall I say, end game. So that is where that is to do with. Now, with regards to this... The wings move, which the back moves, the wings move. It's all very, very movable. 
Back flap opens up so you can see you've got lots and lots of detail on the back end of this as well. So there's a lot going on for it. The top comes off as well. And then you've got see, all the detail on the inside of the ship. So there is a lot going on for this one. So that is why this one made my number nine. Moving on to number eight, back over to this side of the room. Where are we going to get to? Well, it has to be this. This thing, again, for presents, is absolutely enormous, just like the Avengers Tower, but I picked it up in a Black Friday sale, so the price of this thing was very, very good. But what lets it down is the minifigure selection. It only comes with two and... What for bonus points and brownie points, just like the Avengers Tower compared to the Daily Bugle, the Avengers Tower is extremely sturdy. This thing, apart from those silly sliding doors, you can give this thing a good shake and a flick and it will not fall apart. You breathe on the Falcon and you've had it. So here it is in all of its glory, item number 75309, 3,292 pieces. It is still currently available, even though it's on last chance. Now, with regards to the minifigures, we have got this one. So we have him, and we have... Well, that's not very nice, is it? So they, didn't, they couldn't even care less about the other minifigure, because they've not given him a separate photo. I really should have clicked on that first. Now, box artwork beautiful and even on the back of the box you can see both of the minifigures now i do believe this is a fan vote lego set it won one of this obviously the gunship beat the other two that were on there and then for the fan vote for the minifigures they didn't actually add in the minifigures so there's lots of controversy about this set but you can see all the detail on the box just there it does look very very nice and they have done a side-by-side -side comparison of the actual clone wars as well but this comes in at my number eight now, coming in at number seven is something that was on display, but it now no longer is. And it is in this box just here, which is the Winter Village set. And of course, it has to be this set. Now, this thing is a beautiful, fantastic price point. It is my favourite theme, but I've not been biased and I've put it in where I put it in at. Now, price to part and everything like that, again... Very, very good. The box artwork always looks nice. Item number 10325, 1,517 pieces. And I'm pretty sure that if compared to that to the Guardianship, this is well under the price of what that was. And this has more pieces as well. So again, that Marvel tax sort of playing a, playing a thing on that one. But I did, like I said, manage to get that in a massive sale. And this is a fantastic price point and will only go up in value. You can see you've got the fire, you've got the chimney, you've got the door and everything on the back, and it is a beautiful looking thing. Now, with regards to the minifigures, hopefully they'll give us a full selection of them all side by side, like they have just there. So you have this one with the jumper and the cat. Good looking minifigure on that one. Nice torso, got the nice bits and pieces on the leg, and obviously it comes with a nice hat as well. Then you've got this chap just here and the lady, and I do believe that then you've got the family with. So you've got the husband, wife, and child, so they would all stay in the actual room that you can see on the lodge. And then you've got the person that is doing all the baking, and obviously the receptionist, I do believe, as well. So overall, this is a very, very good set. Now coming in at number six, it is this thing just here. Now this had to go in. It is the Lego Marvel set number 76261. It is the Spider-Man Final Battle. And I do have it here to have a look at. It does look very, very impressive. It's one of those, again, with regards to just the volume of minifigures for the price point, it is very good. Now, I know a lot of people think, yes, all right, it is teeny tiny. But if you did notice what I opened up this video with, the new set has just been released for 2024. And that is an addition to this where he will stand in there and make this thing much taller. And you can add in all of the frameworks. So is, if this is their new way of doing things moving forward in 2024. I am very, very happy that this thing came about in 2023. So a quick look at the box artwork, and we'll take a quick look at those minifigs in better detail. But you can see you've got the three different types of Spider-Man. I've put the front just on there. Now, the also thing about this, you have got different play features. You've got rear entry at the back, and then you can go across the top with the head. That is where the new set 
will be located it goes into the top but this is what we are after so we're after these minifigures just here so you saw in the box who was who you got the three different types of spideys i do like the fact that you've got the really really nice silver on the middle then you've got the different blue with the dark black on the right hand side different eye shape as well and then tom holland with the darker outfit with the darker arms and the gold spider does look very very nice indeed now we have got Doctor Strange, who looks very good in hand. It's a nice vibrant blue, and obviously the cape is nice and sturdy as well. It's a solid cape like they've added in to some of the other sort of superhero ones that they've been doing. You've also now got MJ and Ned, who is obviously just a standard thing with regards to their outfit. Then we have got the Green Goblin. does look very, very nice. Obviously, you've got the nice green shades, good-looking print. Then I think probably the, one of the minifigures of the set is Electro and they haven't added in their, his blast effects on the back but all of the yellow does look amazing. Now I would say that the only minifigure that is incorrect is, well, this one I'm afraid. So it's a bit of a shame that Doc Ock is not 100% correct but I think overall the minifigures are absolutely fantastic. So that is number six down with all of its amazing minifigures. Now moving on to number five, and it is a strong number five. It is the A-frame cabin. Beautiful to look at, fantastic minifigures, and it just looks very, very good on the inside. There's so much detail to this. Even on the very, very bottom tier, it looks absolutely stunning. So let's take a better look at this cabin because that does not do it justice at all. It is beautiful it's so nice to build you can see to the left and the right hand side the trees clip on individually you've got a good selection of minifigures as well and this is something that you could have multiple ones of and then just create some sort of accommodation 2082 pieces item number 21338 the box artworks eye-catching it's a very very good lego idea set from item is number sorry not item 46 again you can see how modular it is because the roof will pop off and then you've got the bits down the side that will also pop off which makes things nice and easy for photos you get lots of light in and then you've got these really nice minifigures that are included so you have these three you can see you've got the nice jumper you've already, you've already seen that jumper once but it's now on a female rather than a male you have then also got the nice blue jumper with the guitar and then you've got this really nice looking sort of zip up with the I'm trying to work out what emblem that is. It looks like it's sort of like a tree emblem on. So that's a nice, it's a nice touch. It's almost like the cabin has its own merch. So there might be a little Easter egg within that. And then you've got the bird boxes, the butterflies, everything up at the top. And then you've got the little area down there for the axe. And you've got the squirrel. And then down in the front here, you can see you've got the little stove. There's a light. So there, like I said, lots and lots and lots of bits and pieces going on with this set. Then you've got these two. You've got the cool tash. You've got the nice butterfly going across again at the front. You've got the Indiana Jones whips on the side of the actual seat. And that's all the details on the external before you actually then start looking at the internal bits and pieces, which just looks brilliant because, again, you can see all of the detail that is at the bottom. So in case you've always wondered why people go on about this, it is basically as detailed as a normal modular building, but it is obviously a shape of an A3 cabin. And then you have got all the other bits and pieces that you can do externally. You can either clip it together, you can have it separate. You've got all the detail there with the sort of the pipes that come up. That is all for the sort of little fire that they've got in the kitchen. And then you've got the little Easter eggs here, like the back of the Octane Garage. Well, it's from the Octane Garage, that is the fuel and the batteries that they're using. And you can, if you want to, just clip those two bits and pieces together. So that is why this has come in at number five. So now we are coming into a very, very strong top four. And this is in at four. Now, I said about pricing, this thing for the price is fantastic. This was so, so difficult to get, but I did manage to pick one of these up. So this, to me, was brand new in the box for 2023. The minifigures it comes with are brilliant. The vehicle size is fantastic. The presence it gives off is amazing. And the build as well is very, very good. So this set has a lot going on from it. everything from the box artwork, which you can see it says it's from the Dark Knight trilogy. For me, obviously, the film it comes from, which is the Dark Knight trilogy, which is the best trilogy from the Batman ever done. And this is a very, very good film, the Dark Knight. So it's 422 pieces, item number 76239, and it comes with good minifigures as well. Now, the car itself gives off an enormous present. It looks so good when it's going past a modular. It takes up a 
full road plate. I think the back end of it is near enough 16 studs wide. So it is a very, very chunky rear on the back of it. That is what that thing looks like. So it's got two wheels per side, so it's quad wheel. Now, again, you can see the minifigures. They do look very, very good. You've got the Scarecrow on the left, obviously. So he is the villain from this set. And then you've got the nice looking Batman or Christian Bale on the right hand side. But if you did spot it here, you have got a secondary headpiece, which to be honest, I think you could use for both of them. I think it's photoed with the Batman on this, but I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could put it on the Scarecrow as well, just and use and recreate sort of your own nightmare scene. Lots of detail on the inside of the vehicle as well. There's lots and lots going on for it on the inside. And like I said, from a building point of view, just how weighty and sturdy this vehicle is, it is very, very good. But you can see here is that's where they're rotating it around with the actual minifigure head heads. So you have got the option of having the cow on off for both of them or not having it on whatsoever. So that is a very, very strong number four. Now, before we get to our top three, there are one or two bits and pieces that I need to shout out. Now, these aren't honorable mentions. It's just stuff that basically hasn't been finished. So in case you're wondering, well, why isn't this in your top 10? It's not finished, so I can't. So I'm not adding that in. And the Ken, the He-Man Castle should have made the list. But, well, I'm sure you guys and girls wouldn't agree that it should be in a Lego top 10. But as a construction set, if we just did a construction set top 10, that would be very, very high up the list. Because that thing now, for the thousands and thousands of bricks it has, is in the £80 price point. The only thing that it will let it down is because it is a completely different company is just the size of their little figures that they use don't really match with the Lego bits and pieces. But as a thing to build, as a construction set, price, parts, and visually on display, it would be high up on the list. But it hasn't made the list just for that reason. And there's a couple of other bits and pieces that potentially you might be thinking should have made the list, but it'd be just like the Disney Castle and it's not been finished. But one of the things that has been finished is... The Doctor Strange. Now, I only picked this up this year. It's been out a while. Price point, I managed to get it eventually for a fantastic price. The minifigures it comes with are brilliant. Internally, the building's great. And it's obviously a modular building, so it splits apart. Number three, and another good reason is, is that the sale that I got it in, again, was absolutely massive. So it made it much, much more justifiable. Now, it's 2,708 pieces, item number 76218. You can see it is a really interesting shape with regards to how you can actually display it in multiple ways. It all opens up easy enough. You can see massive amount of detail in the inside. It was very enjoyable to put together. And this thing here, you can have this in on the inside or the outside of the building, and you can mix and match some different bits and pieces so you can really start to create your own displays with it. But you can see what that looks like, all tiers on top of each other. There are like one random thing that they put, like they hide a mug somewhere. I think what they do, just here for absolutely no reason you build all this up and then you hide a mug in the back and that annoyed me i don't know why they did that but then they did it in the avengers tower as well behind the lift and i just couldn't see the point in it but you can see you've got these three things here they will interlink in three different positions and you can do that on all three of those you can put it on top middle or bottom tier and then you can obviously do that inside or outside and then on the inside of the building you've got these side slides just here on the outside and on the inside it will slide between all three different bits and pieces and obviously you've got the one that is outside this universe as well it gives you the information with regards to the size not after that we want the actual photo of the minifigure give me the stock images where are they there they are right i will try that again so we have got all of these minifigures here which do look fantastic and i'm sure some of these you'll recognize in other sets but i think the minifigure of the set is zombie strange i think he does look very very good you can see all the red and the silver that they've added in everywhere and obviously they've got the skin tone slightly different and then you've got this one here looks nice and then you've got this other variant of strange as well i think he looks okay and to be honest i'm a bit confused because i genuinely thought there was a standard doctor strange in this set so i'm not too sure if i'm going absolutely mental or I'm just gone blind. But they are the minifigures that are photoed in this set. And they are the stock images that I've used for everything else. So to keep it fair, that is the minifigures that you will be getting in this Doctor Strange set. 
that is a very, very strong number three. Again, it ticked all the boxes, like I've just said, with regards to the figures, how much I actually ended up picking it up for, and all of those other little bits and pieces. And that really would have made the list, but never know for the 2024 top 10 at the end of this year. Now, moving on to something which you can't deny looks fantastic, even if you're not a fan of the film. Now, as we're panning over and over and over and over, we've got the Winnie the Pooh, Lego Ideas, and then it has to be this Rivendale set. Now this is outstanding. It was a joy to build, it was beautiful colours. You can moan all you like about it being repetitive on the roof, but if you moan about that, then you'd moan about the whole of the Avengers Tower. So you've got to take that with a pinch of salt with regards to the roof. The, the, the shrubbery, the trees, the flowers, everything looks brilliant. Even if you're not a fan of the film and you don't really know too much about it, if you saw it in the shop, I think you would agree it does look very, very impressive. Here we go. I'd imagine this would be a lot of people's number one, to be honest. Again, all clipped together. It's just incredible. It's 6,167 pieces. Item number 10316. It's a good number at the end, 316. You've got just so much detail in there. You've got all of this bit across. You've got everything that you would want from this set. Lots and lots of different Easter eggs involved in it as well. So for those people that absolutely adore the film, there's lots and lots going on. But obviously you saw in my display, I've actually got it all split up, ready for that part to be part of a theme park. Nice walkway, walking into the Stranger Things set that then take you over to the Harry Potter section and it's all going to be my mythical area so obviously what I haven't said as we quickly look through all of these photos is my whole area is supposed to be a theme park display and at the moment it's an absolute bomb site so that is why I'm doing the video this way rather than actually pulling it out for all of you guys and girls to have a look at all the sets and it just saves a little bit of time but I am really hoping as we go through these photos again that gives you a good perspective just how much there is going to it because you've got this middle piece and you've got the bit that connects to that bit you've got the bit that comes on top then you've got the bit that can go in the front and you've got the other bit that comes to the other side so there is so much going on with this set and you can just display it however it is that you want to display it again there's your size so it is a massive massive thing in length it is 28.5 inches long or 72 centimeters and height wise isn't too bad 39 centimeters or 15 inches tall and that is the bag of your box now i'm hoping the minifigures are here it's going to be the last photo again they're going to tease us all the way through is it two photos no so that's what's stuck on the shelf and there are all your minifigures i am not even going to try and name a single one of these because I'm not even going to bother. So we just go all the way through. You can see you've got these really nice headpieces. You've got all of these really nice detail that's going on. You've got all the chain link. You've got all the bits and pieces on the belt. You've got Gandalf. Oh, I named one. And then you've got the really, really annoying people that just eat everything for no reason whatsoever. And then you've got the ring itself. <laughs> <laughs> you got the ring itself and then what I do like is the sort of extra face piece that these minifigures have so you can see what you've got there so you can have that on both sides so I think that's where he goes boo or something along those lines and then you do have a lot of new elements within this set I do believe this was what kicked off a lot of the leaves and also the different sort of armory bits and pieces that had and obviously the armory itself within this set is very very good but again very very strong selection of minifigures all of the different ones that you would want within this set and are they going to be releasing another set in 2024 well i'm sure we will find out soon enough so moving on to number one now this is the main event this is an important thing to me it's a beautiful set. I'm glad I picked it up. A lot of you are going to be very, very surprised about this. And I think you're going to be very, very surprised because of how dreadful the Lego Group made this look on their website. Now, I am glad I picked it up. I'm glad I built it. I'm glad I've got it. And there's no way this is not going to be number one. So we get that one out of the way. We get that one out of the way. And it has got to be this. This thing is outstanding to build with regards to how amazing the detail is on the inside. The minifigures it comes with are fantastic as well. You have so much detail on this and the bag sizes are absolutely spot on. Even the car itself is just a very, very big thing. The only thing it's gonna put a lot of people off is just how big this thing actually is. DC sets have a habit because you can see the length of this one. Then we've got a long one like this. Whereas all of the other three of the Marvel sets are all on a 32 by 32 base plate. This in person, and if you had a light kit, would be fantastic. You've got all the bits and pieces that you can move on the back and it does a lot. As you can see in the minifigures, 
So here it is. The website really does not do this justice whatsoever. The amount of research that went into this just to see how accurate it was, learning that it was a hybrid from the films, the detail involved, all of these beautiful minifigures that come with it. And again, there's exclusive ones to the set. You've got, obviously, Bruce's exclusive. You have this new cape here, which is the first time in the design for the big cowl. That is now available in the local magazines as well. Alfred looks very, very good. And then you've got all of the villains. So you've got the two on the left-hand side as you look at it, and then Penguin on the right-hand side. Overall, they do look very, very good. Now, it's amazing that I did put this at number one. I know it might not be every number one cup of tea, but you have to build it to understand how good this set was. And I went from seeing the images online being super, super disappointed to then seeing it in person with a light kit at a Bristol Lego show to having to go off to buy it because it looked so good and it's so bright and clear when you can see all of the different bits and pieces and on the back here you can see you've got all of these different features of all the different things that it does with regards to all the twizzle bits so you can you've got you could all the bits here so you've got the seat you've got the drawbridge you've got the um, weapons then you've got the bit where the car comes in and out and then you've got the movie screen where it flips between the two and more importantly this bit just actually here this bit is brilliant because this is just a hybrid of the 92 the 86 and to be honest, very, very good for the Flash. So if you want to try and do something for the Flash, you can have that in there as well. So it is a very, very good looking thing. And that was the car that they used in the Flash as well. It was the 89 slash 92 car that they used. But you can see just how nice this thing is. But how I think, honestly, how bad those images look. That looks so bland. There, it all looks flat. It doesn't look like any of this has any texture to it whatsoever. But trust me. It really, really does. But, like I said, it's massive. It's 51 centimetres or 20 inches in length closed. And it's 29 centimetres or 11 inches in height. So you need 40 inches of space if you want it full length. Or you can have it as an L shape, how I've got mine displayed. And then you can have the car poking out. But overall, guys and girls, this is my number one pick for 2023. And that is my top 10 builds of 2023. Now, don't evade some surprises, but get your top three of 23 in that comment section below. Let me know what your top three favorite builds are that you have done in 2023. I don't care if it's 10 bricks or if it's 1,000 bricks. It does not bother me whatsoever. It's what is personal to you and what minifigures you enjoy. Now, there's lots and lots of good stuff already come out in 2024. As you can see, we've already had a quick look at that expansion pack that comes with that set. You've got the burger van that looks very, very impressive as well. The Speed Champions looking very, very tasty. So one of those cars already might be, if I end up picking that up, will probably make a top 10 list because I think it looks brilliant, but it depends how well it goes together. And again, there's some other sets that could have made this top 10. 10, but this from the build for what I'm doing and how it visually also looks on camera that is the list so guys if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel that'd be absolutely fantastic let me know what you think of this list it's my list but let me know if you agree with it or even if you had these sets how would you put them in your own top 10 what do you think is better than the other from a visual point of view even if you haven't actually had time or not been able to build them but if, again, if you like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You lot take care and I'll catch you next one. Ta-da.